Hello and good morning. Dustin from Camping World in Conway here doing a quick walk around of the Scottsdale or the Newmar Scottsdale 3456 that we have available currently. Coach is built on a Ford chassis. Uh, we'll start off at the door side here. Uh, underneath storage is quite ample in this. Um, you do get an outdoor outlet right here as well as your water tanks are in the heated part of the coach here fortunately. Uh, you do have a little satellite out right there as well in case you wanted to plug in a TV out here. You do have an awning on this coach, just about almost the full length of it. Your outdoor lights right there. Battery box right behind that. There's two chassis batteries on here currently. Our generator, which is enough to power the whole coach. Generator has about 300, 400 hours on it. And our pass-through in the back here. Molded fiberglass back cap on this coach, just a little bit more rigidity, as well as our receiver hitch, which is rated for, I believe, 6,000 pounds off the top of my head. Up top there is our backup camera and our ladder to get onto the roof. Moving on to the off door side here. Again, there's the other side of our pass through here, along with our water connections and sewer connections right down the line here. So there would be our water in, our black tank flush, water pump controls right here, and then all our drain ports right next to us. As we keep moving down underneath the main slide here, again, some more good storage underneath that, as well as our propane fill at the top there. Moving on inside, just to give you an idea on tires, of course I will replace tires if they need to be and it won't meet inspection. Keep on moving around here. Let's go inside this coach. Now, if you're familiar with Newmars, they're one of the highest end brands out on the market currently. Scottsdale was one of their partnerships that they did a while back. Um, so it's, uh, it's a, a, a high end coach that's at a decent price point. Uh, starting off at the front here, we're on a Ford chassis on this V10 engine in it. About 54,000 miles, so we're just starting to scratch the surface here. Hydraulic leveling jacks on this coach, so it's an auto level system. As well as our basic controls in the front, our gen start, generator prime, so you can start it from up here. Our defrost, and that sort of thing. You do have uh, uh, Sony stereo here, and that's where your backup camera would come in. Nice little TV installed on the coach with a little bit of overhead storage here. And there's your video control center, which will do your TV. Comes with a VCR, which is kind of cool. You don't see that a whole lot anymore. You do have some side lights here on both sides. And as we move back, we do have a recliner here. Couch right here, which is a pull-out bed, as you can see. And the dinette does convert into a bed if you need it to. Storage underneath the dinette as well. Easy to get to. And moving on to the kitchen here. I want to do a little bit, check out some of this overhead stuff as well. So decent storage on the overhead cabinets. Our main control center is right above the door here. So we have our battery disconnect, our tank monitoring panel as well as our front slide control, our water heater controls, and our security lights and everything. Thermostat right there by the door. Fantastic fan on the coach, which is all your controls are right here, and some light controls. Nice little two bay sink on this, and it is a ceramic sink, not a plastic one. The oven does have the uh, cover for it, so it's recessed into the countertop here to give you a little bit more space. Three burner cooktop on it with a decent size oven underneath. We do have our microwave above that and a little bit of storage over the top here. Underneath the oven, they do give you a little storage nook as well, as well as four full extension drawers here. A little sponge nook and some storage underneath the sink. Moving on here, we got a Dometic eight cubic foot gas and electric combo fridge. So as you can see, decent size in here. Will run off propane or electric or 12 volt. 
Now the AC in this coach, if you can see, it's ducted throughout the camper here, which is really nice as uh, most of the time on some of these motor homes, it's just a main dump AC. Uh, so being fully ducted is uh, pretty nice. Moving on into the restroom here, have our sink, medicine cabinet above that, decent size, and a little bit of storage underneath there as well. A little spot for linens or something down there. Shower's a neo-angle shower, a little bit of a step up to it, but just to give you a point of reference, I'm about six foot tall. I don't need the skylight, but the skylight adds another three or four inches. Uh, closer to sick. I got plenty of space in here with that skylight. Without it, I would be it would be close. But decent amount of space in the shower. And on the other side here, we have our commode, which does have its own pocket door as well as a pocket door right here as well, so we can close off the bathroom and the bedroom. Speaking of the bedroom, moving on back here, we have our queen size bed, full wardrobe on the slide out here, so plenty of space for clothes and such. And then four full extension drawers underneath that as well. Nightstands have a outlet as well as light controls. Overhead storage above that. They do have the owner's manual here still. Uh, some good storage underneath. And similar on the other side here. You get an overhead cabinet as well as your side and your three drawers at the bottom. And usually, let me just flip this up here. Nice storage underneath this coach or underneath the bed as well. And I think that about concludes the tour here. Hopefully I was able to hit everything and uh, answer all the questions you had. If I did forget something, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'd be happy to help. Again, Destin at Camping World. You can reach me at 603-452. 7291. Thanks.